Last video, we did an example of solving a separable DE. What I want to do this video is I want to first um, write out what the method was and then apply it to one more example. All right, so the first thing you do Um, if the differential equation is given to you with a function on it, f of x or f of t, then you change it to y so that it is a variable and you can integrate. So we'll replace f of x by y and f prime by dy over dx. Now, I'm running it as if I knew x was your variable. If a variable is something else, then you just adjust. Uh, it might be f of t, f prime of t, then it's dy over dt. Alright, so once you've done that, you separate the variables. So if you have dy over dx equals um, g of x h of y, so if you have dy over dx, um, g of x, h of y, you want to put all of the y's on one side of the equal sign, all of the x's on the other. So in this case, um, I could take the h of y standard to the left, and my dx will be on the right. Now these look like things that you can integrate, so that will be our next step. You integrate. Um, you cannot forget the plus c here. It's not a minor deduction. It's going to affect your final answer a lot. So let's put it here. you can just add it in the end, the plus c will be inside the functions once you isolate. So at this point, you don't have any differential derivatives anymore, you don't have any integrals, you just have blah equals blah. Um, if you're given initial condition, if you're told that you need a particular solution with f of 3 equals 5, then this is the point where I would solve for c. You would skip that step if you're asked for a general solution, if you're not given any specific value for the function. And then in step 5, isolate y. And answer the question. Alright, so these are general steps that I would apply um, to a problem of differential equations. Some of them might be quite fast on some questions, some of them might be very much long. Um, it really depends on the problem. All right, so let's do a problem. And given this differential problem, I have f prime of t equals f of t cubed t with f of 2 equals 1. The fact that I have f of 2 equals 1 means that you'll probably need to solve for c and you'll find a particular solution. 
All right, so let's start. Step one tells me to replace f, if it's given as an f, by a choice of variable, I'll choose y. So I'm gonna have dy over Usually it's over x. I did this on purpose. In this case, it's not over x. The variable is t, so I'll have dy over dt equals y cubed t. So here, be careful. My variable is t, so it's dy over dt. Now I need to split my variables. I'm going to take y cubed, send it to that side. Take dt, send it to this side. Now on the left of the equation, I have only y's. On the right, I have only t's, so I'm ready to integrate. So I'm going to integrate 1 over y cubed dy. That will give me the same thing as the integral of t dt. Um, on this side, this is y to the minus 3. So I'm going to get y to the minus 3 plus 1. And like I mentioned in the last problem, um, you don't need to put two plus these, they kind of join together into a single one, and so I would leave a single plus C on this side. All right, at this point, C is nicely isolated, it's outside of all the functions, so this is a good time to actually use this condition. So here I have when t equals 2, y equals 1. My variable is 2, the function is 1, so that's what I have. So I get 1 over minus 2 equals 2 squared over 2 plus c. And so c is minus a half minus 2, so that's minus 5 halves. I'm going to take that value of c of minus 5 halves, I'm going to put it inside the c, so I get y to the minus 2 over minus 2, t squared over 2, and c we said was minus 5 halves, and now I'm going to isolate y, right, so I'm going to multiply by minus 2, and let me write y to the minus 2 is 1 over y squared, that's going to make it easier for us to picture what's going on and to see how to isolate y. So here I'm going to multiply by minus 2. I'm going to get minus t squared plus 5. All right, now I'm going to flip this side. And that will mean flipping this side as well. And I think of this as living out um, on top of a 1. So here y squared would be 1 over, I'm going to write it like that. I feel it's nicer. And so now I just have to take a root. But I don't know which one yet. So I'm going to put plus or minus. Both would work with the initial um, differential equation. And so at this point, I need to figure out whether in my specific case, it was plus the root or minus the root. And I go back to this. When t is equal to two, y was plus one. So since y equals one, when t equals 2, I will take y to be plus the square root of 1 over 5 
minus two squared. All right, so again, this is using this initial condition that I was given um, as part of the problem. All right, so I'm ready to give the answer now, but if you remember, the question wasn't talking about y at all. It had an f in it, so when I write my answer, I should use f as well. So now, my answer would be that f of t equals square root of 1, 5 minus t squared. So if this is the only function that fits the differential equation and the initial condition, that um, f of t is 1 when t is 2. 